mountains have always filled man with a sense of the supernatural. Once men thought the peaks kept the sky from falling in. To the early Greeks, the pillars of Hercules, looming up at either side of the Strait of Gibraltar, held up that end of the universe. The ancient Chinese identified five mountains, Hang Shan in the north, Sung Shan in the center, Hua Shan in the west, Tai Shan in the east, and Hang Shan in the south, as the props of the sky. According to legend, a red-cheeked dragon named Kong Kong once rushed at northern Heng Shan and knocked the celestial canopy askew. This caused the globe to tilt to the southeast according to legend and devastating floods resulted. Mountains bespeak the silence and the eloquence of nature. They make man look up and feel the nearness of the heavens. High places are holy places. Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. Buddha was born in the shadow of the Himalayas. Great monasteries, the Patala in Lhasa, the Hospice of St. Bernard, the cloisters of Mount Athos are in high places. The golden lotus that the Hindu creator Vishnu first caused to rise from the void had for its petals the summits of the Himalayas, and from its heart ran a river saturated with holiness, the sacred Ganges. The prophet Ezekiel placed earthly paradise on a high mountain from which living waters flowed. The Greeks placed their pantheon on Mount Olympus, of which Homer sang, Shaken by no wind, dredged by no showers, and invaded by no snows, it is set in a cloudless sea of limpid air, with a white radiance playing over it. There the happy gods spend their delighted days.